Hey everyone, Pastor Anthony Nix from Anderson 7th Avenue Church coming at you with another weekly devotional. We're going through the Blueprint God's GPS study. If you don't have it, we're almost done with it, but you can comment below and get the Blueprint God's GPS in a hard copy, or you can also comment and we'll pass on the website to you where you can go to the website, open the PDF, study the scriptures, fill in the blanks, and voila, you're studying with us. It's that easy. So we've been going through Revelation chapter 14's three angels message, which is God's last message to the world before Jesus comes. There's no other message that comes to this world before Jesus comes after this one. So we really want to make sure that we're understanding it and that we're applying it to our life. So Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6 starts with the first angel's message. And we see that it's a message that restores God's Bible truth, the full truth to the world. The second angel's message is the falling of Babylon, the falling of the political religious system that's joined together and has begun to teach falsehoods, which is the wine of the fornications or idolatry in different ways. And, and you can see how that is actually played out. We actually name the name of the church that's doing that today in this world, if you'll study the study. And then Revelation chapter 14, starting at verse 9, we see the third angel's message. And I want to read that verse to you, starting in verse 9. It says, Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worship the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. And then in verse 12, it says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The, the third angel's message brings to light the total depravity of this religious political system that wants to make everyone take a mark and worship an idol. Now, remember what I said last time, to be able to decipher the book of Revelation, especially, we have to go to the Old Testament stories because most of the book of Revelation is a mirror of those stories, and some are even direct quotes from those stories. And this actually happens to be one, one of all those most kind of direct quotes of the story of Daniel chapter 3 with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember, uh, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream about successive kingdoms that were going to come after this. And he said, no, you know what? I'm going to take this into my hand and I'm going to build a statue full of gold saying that my kingdom is going to last forever and everyone in the world is going to have to worship this statue or I'm going to kill him. Everyone in the world, the Bible says in Daniel chapter 3, they came to the plain of Dura, the music was played, and they all bowed down and worshiped this image except for three young men. Interesting. Just three out of all those people. It's like there's a remaining or a remnant or a group, a very small group of people that do not worship the image of the beast or the image in Daniel chapter three. So this, it goes, the story continues to say that this image was erected. People bowed down to it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego decided they were going to stand up for what they believe. Now, what made them not bow down to this image? Well, it's the fact that the Ten Commandments that they have learned from their parents and before they were taken to Babylon, the Ten Commandments, the Second Commandment tells them not to bow down to any idols. So it was a commandment issue that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went through that made them not bow down to this image. Now, fast forward to the book of Revelation, chapter 14, where we're talking about in verse 9, about this image that is erected in the time of the end, this image that everybody is going to bow down to, but there's a faithful, patient few people that don't bow down to the image, and they keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. Folks, just like the commandments of God were in play in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's day, they're also into play for the final end time people of God. They will not bow down to this image. They will not go along with commandment breaking religious political system that's named in this study for today. You have to go study it. I can't cover everything in this video devotional. 
click on the link and study it, read it out. And you'll see as you look through the scriptures that this religious political system in the time of the end, they're going to make people forget about the commandments of God. And they will also make folks bow down to this image. But then the third angel's message say that people get a mark. Well, where is that from? Go back to Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13, it, it talks about this image of the beast. This beast is going to make everyone uh, just wonder after it. There's this image that's going to be erected to the beast and everybody's going to wonder and, and adore it and worship it. The word worship is repeated over and over and over in Revelation chapter 13. And then it gets down to the people that take the mark of the beast, which is a symbolic language that you'll see in the study for today of giving your conscience over to the beast and giving your work, your hand over to the beast. Okay. It's symbolism. It's not that there's a real mark, but what the real issue is about is that it's about worship. Who will you worship? Will you worship God and keep his commandments or will you fall away and not worship God? And what is the commandment in the Ten Commandments that speaks most about worship, and it's told us to remember and to never forget, that's the fourth commandment, the seventh day Sabbath from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. Folks, this is going to play a big, a huge role in end time events. You're either going to forsake the commandments of God and go after the religious political system that wants you to forsake the commandments of God, receive its mark, and bow down to its image, or you're going to be a part of the faithful saints of God, the patient faithful saints of God, and Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, that do what? They keep the commandments of God, and they have a saving faith in Jesus Christ. Folks, read this. You're really going to want to uh, go through this. It's Blueprint, God's GPS. Read it with me and apply it to your life. It's been good to see you again today. Talk to you next week as we continue to study the Blueprint. God bless.